What is going on guys? Jay here with Jay's Two Cents and through the power of Starbucks and Monster and Cocaine and well no not cocaine. That is illegal and entirely immoral. We've been able to make some headway here upon returning from my trip to Chicago where I had a uh, famous Chicago deep dish pizza, which I might add was actually scrumptious, but we are quite a bit off topic already now. I've been able to actually make some headroom here on Project Red Mist, as you can see behind me. Hopefully you can see. And if you can't see, uh, I'll be sure to upload the braille version. Well, you know, guys, uh, Project Red Mist is um, kind of a love-hate relationship. I love working with this kind of hardware. I hate the fact that it takes up so much room here in my office and part storage in the other room. And when I start working on this, just the massive mess it makes in this place. So it gets a little bit frustrating. So that means it's time to get this project zipped up and the hell on out of here because I have some other stuff I need to work on. Like, for instance, getting rid of my 900D and uh, hopefully getting a nice case to put my stuff in. But anyway, ow, I just kicked the table. Yeah, so here it is. As you can see from the last update, which you guys kind of dubbed uh, Project Red Mist Part 2.5, which I guess is pretty much fair. I mean, it only had the, the acrylic tubing here put in really, which wasn't much of an update, but I wanted to give you guys something before I left to Chicago. So here we are, Part 4. And what, I've got actually quite a bit done here, but we still have a lot to go. As you can see, we've got the 560 rad down here on the bottom, and I want to address this first because I've been fielding a lot of questions on Twitter and Facebook and comments and everything asking, why did I go with AF140 fans? Why didn't I go with SP140 fans? Well, guys, I challenge you to link me to an SP140 fan from Corsair. They do not make a static pressure 140 millimeter fan. But that brings me to the point of the static pressure versus airflow. And if you didn't know, AF is airflow, SP is static pressure. These radiators that I'm using, these Alpha Cool Nexus radiators, are eight fins per inch, eight FPI. There's not a lot of resistance in there whatsoever. So the AF fans are gonna have no problem pushing air through this radiator whatsoever. Up here on the top though, in the 480, I do have SP120, simply because it's available, why not? But the point is, we're not gonna be losing any sort of cooling capacity down here whatsoever by going with the AF fan. So I just wanted to go ahead and put that out there now. If you guys ask me any more questions about why did you go with AF and not SP, uh, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna answer. I'm not even gonna acknowledge that question because quite honestly, I'm sick of that question. There are other fans on the market. Sure, there are better 140 millimeter fans out there that I could have chosen, but I like the aesthetics of the uh, Corsair fans. I think they meet the build perfectly with the little bit of accent color. I do like the fact that they have multiple rings on there. We could have gone with white or something if the red was too much. I just like the fans, so use whatever fan you guys like, obviously. If you don't like these fans, tough shit, quite honestly. It's not your computer. Now, there's some other stuff that's been going on here. I've got the front fans mounted, as you can see. These are AF120s, SP140s on the 480 up top. And I just want to point out, do you see the difference in size between the 560 and the 480? It is absolutely massive and gargantuan. This radiator down here is only going to be cooling the two 780 Ti's, which are going to be overclocked. Um, but as you can see here, I do have the reservoirs mounted. Now, I mentioned in a previous video that I was gonna be doing something different with the reservoirs that I hadn't really seen done before. And what I did was I did an acrylic stand, acrylic mounting plate here, if you will, and then they've got about an inch and a half um, nylon spacers in the back that it's mounted off of the back wall. And you guys can see that through some of the glamour shots here. Uh, and why did I do that? Well, I'm going to be putting LED lighting behind that that is going to eliminate, illuminate behind this panel, which is going to give it the effect of kind of floating. So I thought that that's going to look really cool. The buyer really likes it. Uh, you know, I, I got the acrylic made myself, uh, which also brings us to the point of the acrylic floor on here. Uh, because the case does have fan cutouts in there, um, I've come up with a false floor that I had cut and then I had to sand it and mold it and file it to make it fit perfectly in here to look like it was 100% part of the case, which is going to kind of serve two purposes. I went with the acrylic because one, it's going to give us more reflectance in here because it's a polished piece of plastic and it just looks really smooth. I really like the way that this looks. In fact, I'll be doing the same thing with my build when I do mine. So. 
We are gonna have white LED strip along the bottom, white LED strip along the top, and we're gonna have some white and red LEDs placed in here that are going to give nice accents where we want to focus on the red. I didn't wanna go too red. I didn't wanna do red LED fans. I didn't want red bling everywhere because too much lighting is actually worse looking than not enough if you want my opinion on the matter. So that'll come together a little bit better. Um, the reservoirs, as we've talked about, they are gonna come down in through the acrylic down into the bottom with some adapters that are gonna be going right here. Same thing with the uh, the graphics cards. These are called video cards. I kind of I kind of forgot for a second there. Every now and then I forget my name and stuff. So what was that? Uh, I got the power supply mounted in the back. I've got the hard drives mounted in the back uh, and the front fans, which I've already mentioned. Now, what is kind of interesting here, and I'm gonna have to kind of show you this through Glamour Shots, is I've gone ahead and installed um, the lower dis power distribution block for the fans. So the lower fans and the front fans are running off the same uh, eight port power distribution block. Actually, it's a 10 port, I think, power distribution block. So I have one power going into there. Gonna be using voltage reducers on these to slow down the speed of the fans. That way we don't need to worry about the extra clutter of a fan controller or anything like that. Slow speed is gonna be more than enough to keep these beasts cool. Uh, and it keeps things nice and tidy. I mean, as you can see, there's very, very little wiring showing whatsoever. The fact that these fans are already wired up and you see nothing either behind the tray or in the front here just goes to show how clean this build is going to be. I've got the drain port installed on the bottom and it's got a T block on there, which is where the rest of the coolant's gonna go through. And uh, pretty much that's all we've got done so far here. I mean, I would have liked to have gotten more done, but I just got the other parts I needed to get the rest of the tubing done. Like I said, we were going with PETG tubing rather than acrylic. So I had to get that in before I could really go any farther. Um, all the LED strips are in now, the extra fittings I needed in now, uh, the pumps need to be installed in the bottom. And then we're gonna start buttoning this thing up and getting it the hell out of my office because as much as I love it, I'm ready for this thing to go. So I hope you guys can kind of see now the way it's coming together, my idea for this build. I see it all in my head. Um, I hear voices in there too. Usually they're not much of a problem until they start seeing things, saying things like, you know, kill, 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 ma, 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 and stuff like that. And every now and then I have arguments with myself. Um, therapist says it is getting better. It's getting better, but I haven't been taking my meds lately. So shut up. Things I have left to do, install the pumps, get all the plumbing down on the bottom going on. Uh, I gotta bend a lot of acrylic tubing. It's gonna probably take me as long as it is uh, th to get to this point. It's gonna take me just as long to bend just a couple of tubes in here that I've gotta to do to get this together. But it's all gonna look good, especially with the two color loop going on, the way the lighting is. You guys are just going to have to wait to see my vision. Like I said, I stare at this case for hours at times. I wonder why I don't get anything done. No, it's absolutely serious, guys. Miss J has walked by plenty of times and seen me just sitting here with my feet up on the desk, just staring at this, imagining what it's gonna look like and planning it all out in my head. It's kind of like the Lego movie when they're building all the Legos in their head, in that little in that scene when they're in dude's head. It's kind of like that for me. I don't draw it out, I don't blueprint it. I just see it and then I build it. So yeah, anyway, I think the floating reservoir is, is gonna be a neat point and it's gonna be unique. I, I've not seen anybody else do that, especially with the backlighting on there that's gonna make it look like it's floating. So you guys will get to see that in part five because that's gonna be one of the next steps, getting all the wiring uh, and the lighting put in there and then the tubing and all that's gonna be absolutely last. So guys, I'm gonna get on out of here. Hope you guys have enjoyed part four. Tell me what you guys think. I, I hopefully, you guys see it the way I do and you can kind of imagine the way it's gonna look when it's done, especially with the white and red loop independent of each other yet crossing each other. It's gonna look really good. Yeah, it's still gonna be minimalistic. Some people had an issue like, no, 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 don't, don't do too much tubing because too much tubing is bad and this and that. You just have to see it when it's done. You'll see it's gonna be exposed tubing, but it's gonna be clean and straight and it's just gonna look really, really slick when it's all done and that's, it's not like a, a liquid cooling slick joke. We're not talking about slick from Linus Tech Tips. We're just saying slick as in it's really f cool. Yeah.